Disney Cruise Line's Mocha Experience. I'm going to go over a fabulous little cocktail that's in Cove Cafe. It was one of my absolute favorites on the last cruise. I usually feel like alcohol can ruin the taste of my espresso, but this one was one of the best. Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Anne with Magical Eats. I'm excited to get into the Mocha Experience. I think it might be my favorite cocktail on Disney Cruise Line right now. It's actually tied with the Pina Colada, which is a raspberry pina colada. But anyway, let's get into this. I had this on the Disney Wonder, and it's in the Cove Cafe. The Mocha Experience is an iced espresso drink with a little bit of boozy whipped cream on top. They also serve it with a couple of chocolates. They didn't actually have those when we went because cruising had just started up again. And this is going to be my version. I don't have all of the alcohol that they used, so this is kind of my version. First, I'd like to tell you the ingredients that they use. They start with the Hershey's chocolate syrup, a little bit of salted caramel syrup, and then they mixed in the Star 7-Year Rum and Kahlua. I believe those were one ounce portions each. And you will also add two shots of espresso to that. Then the Boozy Whipped Cream consists of the whipped cream and a half ounce each of Rum Chata and Grand Marnier. I was actually out of a few things with this one, so I used the closest substitutes that I had on hand. After I made this version with the double espresso vodka, I switched to coconut rum, and I really like it that way. So here's the setup that I've got for our home version. We start with the chocolate syrup. We added a little bit of salted caramel syrup in with the chocolate, and then the rum. They use approximately one ounce of rum on the ship, and they use approximately one ounce of the Kahlua. Here we have the chocolate syrup with the salted caramel syrup added, as well as the double espresso vodka and the Kahlua. We're gonna mix in the two shots of espresso and set that to the side. Next, we wanna make our boozy whipped cream. So I just use, as they did, some regular old whipped cream and then add a half ounce of the rum chata and a half ounce of the Grand Marnier. We had Cointreau, so that's what I used. He mixed that up really well. He did it for probably about a minute. Obviously, I'm not gonna do it that long in the video because who wants to watch that? But he did mix it in at first and then add a little bit more whipped cream and mix it again. It was about a minute, just, you know, so it's all mixed in and you can pour it on top of your drink, basically, is the goal. So then we stir up all the coffee ingredients and we're gonna pour that into a shaker with a glass full of ice. We really want to shake that well and get that warm espresso cooled off. They will serve it without the ice in the drink. I do a really good shake. I'll pour it out through the strainer, but I do typically add in the ice just because I like a little bit of ice in it. With this version, I actually used some coffee that we had. It was not nearly as good. If you can, make sure you use espresso because it does make a difference. And that's it. The Mocha Experience from Cove Cafe on Disney Cruise Line. Thank you everybody for joining us. We'll be back soon with some more Magical Eats.